What is up YouTube? Just doing a quick update video here for you guys. I uh, actually haven't done anything like this yet, so this will be the first one I really do to give you a kind of a quick walk around of the car. Show you what I've done to it so far. Of course, this is a 2002 Pontiac uh, Trans Am Firehawk. Um, for those that don't know, Firehawk was a special package. Uh, the Trans Ams were shipped off to a factory called SLP who then modified the car with uh, the wheels that you see here. Um, this one happened to come with the chrome ones. And then uh, they also added a special hood, uh, different exhaust, and certain ones came with a, an improved intake as well. So, uh, and then you get badging that comes with that as well, such as what you see here. So that is the Firehawk badge right there. So um, this particular model is number 391 of I don't know, I think 3,000 some odd for 2002. So uh, anyway, I'll just go over real quick some of the upgrades I've done to it, of course. As you might have noticed here, I've got the SLP intake lid. Um, I don't have the baffle. I might get that at some point, but I don't, from what I've heard, it's not really that big of a deal whether or not you have it. Um, I just recently, this is the most recent upgrade I've done, is adding a BMR uh, sway brace, or I'm sorry, a strut tower bar. Um, I have painted the brake calipers gold to try to match the um, door logos there. Uh, the passenger side is peeling. This one's held up pretty good, but I'm probably going to go ahead and just redo them. Um, and I didn't do the back, so I'm probably going to go ahead and just redo the front ones and do the back ones. Eventually, I'll get around to it. Um, I've also added a... Uh, I actually just pulled this out of my other car and put it in here, and it fit pretty nicely I'm happy with the uh, the way it fits on the rear deck here a pioneer 12 inch subwoofer and enclosed slim box it's actually designed for trucks but it fits really nice on the rear deck there um, it is actually underpowered this is a it's only a 250 watt amplifier and this is uh, rated for three or 350 so um, well, that works pretty well so that is it for all oh, actually there's one more thing I'll show you that at the very end though um, if we go around into the inside here, I've added a uh, short th uh, shifter stick. I'm trying to remember. I believe I got this from it's either Hawks 3rd Gen or WS6 Project. I believe I got this this one from WS6 Project. Um, and I've actually changed the shifter. You might not notice that at first, but it says SLP instead of having the H for Hurst. So uh, that's just a little bit different. And then I had this created by a guy. Um, down in Florida. Let me think if I can remember. I believe his company is called Florida Air, but uh, I found him on the uh, LS1 Tech pro um, forums. And uh, if you find him on there, you can get his contact information, email him, and he'll actually create a custom one for you. I had him put the Firehawk script on there for me and the gold trim to match it, and it turned out really nice. It doesn't have the button over here, but I actually kind of like uh, the way that looks it's a little bit cleaner and it's really well padded um, this particular one is just a vinyl but you can also get it in leather or um, I think he might even do one other material but uh, anyways give him a look um, let me think if I remember his name I'll tell you guys at the end of the video but he was a really cool guy to work with and uh, the last thing I've done is well not the last but the last thing I'm going to show you um, I got an LED third brake light here, which I thought was pretty sweet. It's uh, black tinted, so it's translucent on the top. You can actually see the wires in there. Somebody pointed that out to me and was like, dude, you should fix that. And I was like, eh, it doesn't bother me. But I really like the way that looks from the back. Um, obviously, it's a safety feature too, since it lights up a little bit sooner. Other than that, I really haven't done a whole lot to it yet. Um, the exhaust is... Uh, well, it's, it, it's as I bought it, which is to say that there's uh, factory exhaust manifolds, um, cat back to the uh, axle, and then on the axle they actually cut off the original SLP muffler, the guy that owned it before me, and he put in a Flowmaster muffler, which sounds all right to me. It's a little bit um, higher, so it's, it's not as bassy as I would like. I'd like to get something a little more mellow like a MagnaFlow, but... Um, it works okay. And then he added on these tips. These are not the original SLP tips. 
they're just kind of a chrome, you know, curved and then cut off, which I'm not crazy about that design. I like the ones that come out to a sharp taper on the edge. Um, so I might end up going with a, a MagnaFlow kit eventually, just not something I've done yet. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so this is my Firehawk, and uh, if you've seen my other videos, you kind of know what it does maybe performance-wise. I think I've posted the times that I got at the track, uh, quarter mile. My best so far has been a 13.5 at 107, I believe, which is pretty typical for a stock Trans Am. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot to mention this here. I'll go ahead and throw this in. Uh, changed out the tires not too long ago. Got some NT555s. These are not the drag version. These are just the standard 555 tire. So it's a summer compound. Um, and it's held up pretty well. I actually haven't had issues with it since it's been uh, below freezing for a few days now here in the south. And these have uh, given me decent traction even below freezing. So I'm pretty impressed with those. Uh, up front, I've got the Gen 1. Those are the Gen 2. Sorry, I forgot to mention that in the back. Those were brand new. And then these I bought off of a guy for a really good deal here. Um, he just had them laying around. These are the Gen 1 555s. So I like those pretty good. Uh, they're not, you know, super amazing performance, but they're definitely better than the all seasons that were on there when I bought it. So uh, this time for real, that's, that's, <laughs> that's all I've done to it, guys. Um, hopefully more to come here in the somewhat near future. Um, I was going to mention in my last draft of this video that I had some ideas for upgrades I would do hopefully within the next year. I have had some uh, career changes come up recently, so I may have to postpone that for a little while. But hopefully in the not too distant future you'll be seeing more videos with maybe some exhaust work and uh, different things like that. So stay tuned. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, as always... Uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe and uh, be sure to like this one if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.